Roots Run Deep. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians 1, 3, King James Version. I've been on this spinning rock for 51 years now, and each sunrise brings a new surprise. But God has been the one constant thing in my life. It says in Hebrews 13, 8, King James Version, that Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. He is the one that I'm able to rely on when times get rough, and the one that I can praise when blessings come my way. I'm so grateful to my mother for her devotion to God and bringing me to church. I'm also thankful to my grandmother and my great-grandmother. Christianity has been a way of life for me. As a child, I dreamed of being a firefighter, to be a hero. I wanted to be a soldier, to be a patriot. I chose to be a Christian so I could go to heaven and help save someone from the torment of hell. I know I've strayed at times, and I've made some wrong decisions, but I can honestly say that I had the right intentions. I'm now in a place of peace. Yeah, I still have aches and pains, migraines, stomach issues, and I'm still financially strained, but I'm grateful. I continue to pray each and every day, and I think that God is watching out for me and guiding me in the right direction. Nashville is a place I've called home since I was 18. It's changed so much since then that it's almost unrecognizable. Condos have taken the place of recording studios on Music Row. Historic venues and places that meant so much to inspiring artists like myself have been torn down. It's been sad to see that happen in my lifetime. But hopefully the city will remember its musical roots. Maybe there will be new places to keep the music alive in Music City. Songwriters are an endangered species in 2020. Online piracy has driven most of the writers out of town. There's no way for them to make an honest living anymore. Everyone wants their music free these days. Someone needs to educate and send out a warning signal to inform everyone that the art is dying. Cell phones and video games are what's popular now. Not sitting around a record player and listening to music. Full-length CDs aren't desired anymore. Releasing singles and homemade YouTube videos are the norm. I'd give anything for the younger generations to understand the joy and excitement that I had when I was a kid learning and appreciating great music. I'm still writing and recording, and I will continue to do that. Like I said in the preface, I'm planning to release some music that will go hand in hand with this memoir. I also plan on doing a tour next year called Roots Run Deep. I've hooked up with a booking agency called Live Arts that believes in me and is at this very moment booking performance dates for me. The show is going to be about family, about my roots. I'm going to be performing some of the hits that God so graciously blessed me with, along with the hits my cousins, Seals and Crofts, Dan Seals, Chuck Seals made famous. Songs like Summer Breeze, I'd Really Love to See You Tonight, and Crazy Arms. I'll also be singing songs that my cousin TJ and I wrote for my solo CDs and Hot Apple Pies records like Hillbillies. Of course I won't leave out the classics that my Uncle Troy wrote like Rock and Roll Heart and Seven Spanish Angels. And who knows whether Little Texas or Hot Apple Pie will ever play another show together with the original lineups. I really haven't got a clue. I do know that I've tried my best to mend all of the broken fences between me and the guys that I had disagreements with. Four of the guys from the original lineup of Little Texas are still out on the road playing shows without Tim and me. I appreciate each and every one of them for keeping the name alive. Rock on. Christy DiNapoli and I have worked out any bad blood we ever had between us. He's become a dear friend again and was kind enough to contribute to this book. He is still an advocate of God Bless Texas. Not long ago, he negotiated another licensing deal with Ford Trucks so they could use the song for their regional Ford Is the Best in Texas commercials. When I co-wrote the song God Bless Texas with Porter Howe back in the 90s, I had no idea that it would make such an impact. I believe that God not only blessed the lyrics and melody of that song, but he did in fact bless Texas, and he blessed me too. He's a mighty God. It's now the summer of 2020. 
and as of September 9th, the World Health Organization declared that the novel coronavirus COVID-19 outbreak a global pandemic. The virus started in China and has now spread all over the world at an alarming rate, infecting millions of people. So far, there have been over 27.6 million confirmed cases and approximately 898,000 deaths. Countries such as Italy, Spain, and Germany have been hit hard by the disease, and the United States tops the list with the most number of cases. Top leaders around the world have issued lockdowns and advised people to stay at home. Businesses have shut down, and several months ago, the economy saw its biggest drop since the 2008 recession. The Dow and the FTSE recently saw their biggest one-day decline since 1987. Fear has set in everywhere. Hand sanitizer, toilet paper, face masks, disinfectant spray, and paper towels are on the most wanted list. Several months ago, you couldn't hardly find them anywhere. Once the population realized the severity of the pandemic, everyone rushed to the stores to buy up all the supplies. President Donald Trump and his administration claims that life will go back to normal, and there is talk of a vaccine on the horizon. Until then, everyone is advised to bunker down and not to go outside much. Only the essentials. The term social distancing is heard all over the news, and the phrase wash your hands constantly and for at least 20 minutes is all over social media. During the stock market drop, I lost nearly $30,000 in two days. I immediately called my stockbroker and told him to pull what money I had left in my retirement funds and put it somewhere else. Thankfully, I was able to move it before the economy sunk even further in the following days. To add to the chaos, Denny, Evan, and I had to move. I had to sell the house that I had been living in for the last 20 years because the financial burden had become too much to bear after the divorce. The idea was to sell the house, buy a lot, and build a new home. Denny and I searched for months and found a beautiful wooded two-and-a-half-acre lot that seemed perfect for a dream home. I made an offer and the seller accepted it. I had been meeting with a home builder and an architect to construct our new modern rustic home, but the plans were halted just weeks after I purchased the land. I found out my ex-wife was moving to Spring Hill, Tennessee, which was a 40-minute drive from the property. I didn't want to be that far from Evan and have to drive every day to and from school. So with the new information, it forced me to find a place in Spring Hill, too. Luckily, we found a new neighborhood home that was perfect for us all. Evan was let down when we said we were going to have to move into a different home than planned, but when he found out the new house had a secret room attached to his bedroom, he lit up and he was fine with it. The last four months have been so stressful. Earlier this year, I had to go to the emergency room because my blood pressure was so high. With the pandemic, losing money in the stock market, moving from one house to another, homeschooling Evan, and all of my gigs being canceled, it just about got the best of me. However, several months ago, a ray of light broke through the clouds. I received a much-needed song royalty check in the mail. It couldn't have come at a better time. The Ford commercial that Christy DiNapoli had been working on came to fruition. When I opened up the envelope and saw how much I got paid, I dropped to my knees and thanked God. I'm not going to lie, I teared up. God bless me when my family and I needed it most. I've got a lot to be thankful for today. I pray for those less fortunate, those who are in bed suffering and sick, for those who have gone bankrupt due to the pandemic, those who are in harm's way daily battling this disease. Life for everyone on this planet right now is hard. I don't know when the stock market will rebound, or when the shows will be rebooked, but I know I'll be all right. God is looking out for Evan, Denny, and me. From this day forward, I'm going to keep raising my son the best way I can and continue to let him know that his dad loves him. I will continue praying for him and showing him the way to heaven. I'm also going to try to get along better with his mom. Evan needs to know that I appreciate Lisa tremendously for giving him to me. I'm also going to love Denny my very own diamond girl. Who knows what the future holds for us? Maybe a diamond on her finger? 
I'm going to let God lead us where he wants us to be. I'm going to learn from any past mistakes and apply my newfound knowledge to our relationship. I'm going to cherish her, to appreciate her and be there for her. And to wrap things up, if you've taken the time to listen to this memoir, I thank you from the depths of my heart. I kindly ask for you to take a moment and jot down a good review on Amazon or any other platform you might have downloaded it on. The review truly does help spread the word for the memoir. I hope that in some way you hear through the words of this book what God has done in my life, and hopefully you'll see what he's doing in yours. Stay close to him. Trust in him and spread the wonderful news about how he sent his only son to die for our sins so we may have everlasting life. May God bless you like he's blessed me. God bless Texas. I've seen a lot of places. I've been around the world. I've seen some pretty faces, been with some beautiful girls. After all I've witnessed, one thing still amazes me. Just like a miracle, you have to see to believe. God blessed Texas with his own hand, brought down angels from the promised land, gave them a place where they could dance. If you want to see heaven, brother, here's your chance. I've been sent to spread the message. God bless Texas. First he let the sun shine, then he made the waters deep. Then he gave us moonlight for all the world to see. Well, everybody knows that the Lord works in mysterious ways. He took a rest, then on the very next day. God blessed Texas with his own hand, brought down angels from the promised land, gave them a place where they could dance. If you want to see heaven, brother, here's your chance. I've been sent to spread the message. God bless Texas. <laughs>